Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge Let's Play NBA 2K18. Die Clippers spielen zu Hause gegen die Denver Nuggets und es ist momentan alles andere als knapp. 25 Punkte Vorsprung haben wir und meine erste Hälfte war von den Punkten her okay mit 28 Punkten. Rebounds auch okay mit 3 Assists mit 0, viel zu wenig. Ein Block richtig gut, ein Stil richtig gut. Da bin ich immer froh, wenn ich überhaupt einen auf der Uhr habe. Trefferquote knapp unter 50 Prozent, da habe ich mich wirklich im zweiten Viertel noch ein bisschen gesteigert. Einsatzzeit war relativ wenig, nur 14 Minuten in der ersten Hälfte. Da kommt, ich werde wahrscheinlich die zweite Hälfte durchspielen. Und ein Turnover auf der negativen Seite, das geht noch, drei Fouls, das wiederum ist eindeutig zu viel, muss in der zweiten Hälfte besser werden. Ähm, eine Kleinigkeit noch, bevor wir starten, ähm, nach diesem Spiel sind es nur noch zwei Spiele bis zu den Playoffs und nochmal der Hinweis, wenn die Playoffs dann starten, wechselt unsere NBA 2K18 Serie, den Sendeplatz, die kommt dann nicht mehr täglich, sondern nur noch mittwochs und samstags zur Primetime um 20 Uhr. Da gibt es dann immer eine Folge aus den Playoffs und eine neue Serie wandert an den 18 Uhr Platz, wo NBA bisher war. Nur, dass du da Bescheid wisst und jetzt gebe ich ab an die Sideline, ab zu David Aldridge und ich glaube auch ab zu mir. Viel Spaß bei der zweiten Hälfte. <Musik> Well, scoring has not been an issue. How are you getting those looks that you want? I appreciate it, DA. You know, my, my, my teammates have done a great job of, of finding me whenever I get a gap in space. Uh, you know, I, I know as, as long as I keep moving, I keep hustling, you know, they'll set me up in a position to score. And, uh, you know, fortunately, I've been able to get a few to, to fall in my way the first half. Well, it's been more than luck. You've done a great job. See you in the second half. Kevin? Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. You look at DJ in this game, he's been everywhere. And let's see what the defense counters with to try and control him here in the second half. Well, he has been dominant, as, as we expected coming into this one. Skilled and relentless. Second half underway. Here's who Mike Malone's got on the floor. Down low, it's Millsap and Jokic. Murray out there with Moutier, and it's Chandler in at the small forward position. Now, Moutier following the three-point attempt by DJ. Moutier kicks to Murray. Millsap a screen on Rivers. Shot clock at six from down low. It's hauled in by the Clippers. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Trains it from beyond the arc. Well, imagine this, Kevin, a DJ finding his rhythm. This is an unbelievable role he's on. Now, here's Moutier. He's covered closely. The three ball. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Jordan's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And really deep through that time. 34 points for DJ. Yeah, that shows you some of the guts that DJ has. So confident in his long-range shooting that he'll let it fly from anywhere. Murray kicks to Moutier. Jokic a screen. Moutier with the basket. Moutier's got eight points. I see you, young fella. Nice answer there. Yeah, look out. We got a long-range duel about to happen. Molinari with it. Now Chandler defending. So many naturally born playmakers and natural born scorers who have learned to become playmakers. That's kind of an interesting topic. Who do you think right now tops that list? One guy that's pretty peculiar in that sense, I think, Kevin, is Jeff T. You know, so many years of success in Atlanta, but it was built around this team and the system and the fragility of, of what it was that those guys could do and needed to do for that team to win. I think that Jeff Teague has made himself into a much better playmaker in the NBA. The Nuggets have had 12 attempts at the line making eight so far. Good. 
shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And Brett, you were drafted by the Nuggets, but traded to the Clippers to start your career. What was it like being a rookie and living in Los Angeles as you adjusted to the league? Well, I was super excited, Kevin, of course, to be drafted and have the opportunity to live out my dream of being an NBA player. But a lot of people were joking around with me that I don't think the Clippers are in the NBA. Just remembering how many struggles they had gone through and have gone through throughout the course of the franchise existence coming up from San Diego, moving to Los Angeles and never really finding a footing. But I learned a ton during my first year having played under Coach Bill Fitch, a Hall of Fame member that has been around the league and won championships and really embracing the opportunity to learn and grow and pour a foundation for what I was hoping would be a long and successful career in the NBA. Here's Jordan, and it's sent back by Millsap. Well, as soon as the shot was released, Millsap gets off the floor quickly and blocks it. Chandler kicks to Jokic. Here's Moutier. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Moutier's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Nuggets. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, we know the Clippers are one of the best teams in the league, but are they good enough to win it all? Coach Doc Rivers talked about overcoming the super teams they face. He said the big three in Boston put them together, bam, we won. We had Miami, Golden State, but there are teams that still poke through. Dallas did it, and that's what we're trying to do. Kevin? And with Doc in control, the Clippers, D.A., will always be in contention for a title. Thanks so much for that terrific report. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. There's tremendous balance with this Nugget basketball team, especially on the offensive end. You can have a lot of players in their rotation carrying the scoring load and a lot of different playmakers that are out there on their roster. And let's look at the last handful of seasons and the steal numbers for Millsap. And when you see the tumble his steal totals have taken the last few years, you, you can see that he's gotten away from playing the kind of gritty, hard-nosed D he was known for. That, that's an aspect of his game he needs to get back. Denver's gone 2-3 of three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Friend, as you said, the Nuggets have a balanced roster, and from that, a balanced scoring attack. Well, a lot of the guys on this Nuggets roster can score some points, so having players at every position who can get you a bucket, that can lead to some great offensive success. The coaching staff high-fiving themselves there, watching that team move the ball around, doing whatever is best for the team. The Clippers have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting, just about 73%. Los Angeles making a switch here. Teodosa just checked in, and Denver also making a switch. Barton's checked in for Emmanuel Moutier. That's good from Blake Griffin. We know that Blake Griffin gives you a lot offensively, but he's a very heady player, even when not putting up the shot. He can cut well, moves to open spaces on the floor, and he has a great eye for what's going on around him. A terrific passer as a power forward. So here's Gallinari following the basket by Paul Milson. Jordan, the pass to DJ. Here's Teo Dosic. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Barton, right side. He kicks it to Murray. Back to Barton. Millsap inside, guarded by Jordan. And it's Denver scoring again. And you talk about Griffin and his passing. I remember last season watching him, Brent, throw a behind-the-back, between-the-legs assist to a baseline cutter. Wow. Well, your memory is rock solid, Kevin. I remember that play as well. And he's certainly in the conversation as being one of the best passing big men in the league. He's always put up big assist numbers. And some of the things that he can do, especially on the break, handling the basketball, can be just as impressive as a Blake Griffin dunk. Now Chandler following the three-point attempt by DJ. 
Chandler goes in over Gallinari. Chandler, no good. Well, his struggles are consuming the rest of the team here tonight. He's got to find his rhythm and find it fast. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. That's some nice form on DJ's jumper. Can't have the accuracy unless you've got the proper fundamentals. Millsap sets the pick for Murray. He dishes it to Millsap. Over Griffin. Another miss by Millsap. Los Angeles has got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. Pass to Griffin. He feeds it to DJ. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. And it's Gallinari missing. That's where I like the shot selection. The defense cannot afford to give up wide open shots. And they dodged a bullet there. Murray dishes to Chandler. Over Gallinari, cans the 12 footer. And it's nine points for Wilson Chandler. Clippers have gone five of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. DJ kicks to Jordan. Gallinari outside. Jordan the screen. Passes it to DJ. Six on the shot clock. Martin with the rebound. Nuggets have gone a solid six of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Wasted no time on that one. Murray's got four points in the quarter. Murray right now just on a roll, scoring at will on the offensive end. Outside Jordan. Dish now to DJ. Inside. Griffin kicks to DJ. Pass to Teodosic. The feed to DJ. From deep three point range, Paul Millsap with the rebound. Millsap's got rebound number five here tonight. Martin passes to Murray. And there's the pass to Millsap. Over to the wing. Here's Jokic. Misses the three. Los Angeles leading by 22. Teodosic, the pass to DJ. Three-pointer. Hands it from downtown. DJ's got 43 points. He keeps finding great shots out there, and the opportunities are turning up roses. Denver calls timeout. And Milos Teodosic, one of the bigger names in basketball, not to play in the NBA last season, Greg. Yeah, I mean, the Clippers brought him over from Europe to help kind of ease the loss of Chris Paul. He's a terrific playmaker who is one of the best passers in the world. And, and not young, but respected by many around the globe. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Billy Reed, he's checked in for Jordan. Montrez Harrell comes in for Blake Griffin. Williams, he's checked in for Gallinari. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Teodosic. The Nuggets also changing it up. Mason Plumley's checked in for Jokic. And for Reed's subbed in for Wilson Chandler. Now here's Barton. Ten points for him. Murray for three. Rebound by Harrell. Let's the three fly. They get the rebound. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easier. Well, on the defensive end, uh, this is a joke. The lack of awareness is exactly why this team is so far behind. Brent, all things being equal, do you like the idea of sending everyone to the defensive glass to avoid giving away second chance points, or do you like leaking a guy or two out in transition, hoping for the best? I don't think the leak out is a good idea at all, Kevin. You've got to have five guys attentive to any possession. Most coaches in the NBA will tell you that a possession is not a stop until you collect the defensive rebound. Here's DJ, following the basket by Kenneth Fareed. Over in the corner, Williams. 
feeds it to DJ. From downtown, rebound by the Nuggets. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. From 12 feet out, and Paul Millsap, the bucket on the assist by Murray. And that's 10 points for Millsap. Wow, 10 straight points from mid-range. Dishes it to Beverly. Reed is screened. Beyond the arc. Eyes again. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. And where's the fight defensively? I mean, you know you need stops to stop the bleeding. Yeah, down by double digits, failing to shut down the lane. It has been a rough night. Brent, the NBA has a new CBA, now a collective bargaining agreement. How big a win is this for everyone involved? I don't think the league has been in a better situation than it is right now, Kevin. And for the fact that labor discussions all took place behind closed doors without anything sneaking out underneath them, I think it was great for the league. It's been great for Adam Silver. It's been great for the Players Association. So it's nice to see the train keep rolling. Now here's Beverly following the miss by Paul Millsap. For three, Williams rebounded by Fareed. Fareed's got seven rebounds in the game. Right side, Millsap. And good as it rattles through the hoop. Millsap's got eight here in the quarter. Well, once Millsap gets the ball in the mid-range area, it's usually a good thing. And Beverly kicks to DJ. passing here by Los Angeles. Picked by Harold. DJ dishes to Williams. From deep. Williams with another miss. Yeah, just not his night so far, guys. Defense! 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 It's Barton on the wing. Defended by Beverly. It's Barton on the wing. He's got 10. Millsap sets the pick for Barton. No good. Well, the D did their job there. Excellent contest to alter the close ranger. Here's Williams and hits one. Maybe he's ready to get back on track. And when you can outscore your opponent in transition, that's always going to work to your advantage. Uh, they've also taken care of some of the details in this game, and that's why they're ahead. Now here's Barton. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Down low, Murray. Terrific design on the big play, and he lays it in. Murray's got 15 points. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Umley with the steal. To the middle. Murray, good. 17 points in the game. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Now, here's DJ. Defense is right there. Foul on the play, basket count, so it'll be a three-point play chance. Yeah, good-looking bounce pass to set up that one. For Los Angeles, they have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven for the Clippers. Griffin comes in for Harrell, and it's Rivers in for Patrick Beverly. Trey Lyles checked in for the Nuggets. Emmanuel Moutier comes in for Will Barton. One shot, one shot. That free throw good from Reed. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line to this half. Murray kicks to Lyles. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the third. Misses off the right iron. 
Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Well, maybe not a true point guard, but Austin Rivers is becoming more cognizant of keeping his teammates involved in the action. Now, here's Moutier. He's guarded closely. Shot clock at five. Good day, good day. Pulls up. Can't nail the jumper. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. Right back after this break. Underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. Denver shooting 38% from the field, a pretty weak showing for them. We've got Williams. Johnson is out there with Reed. And it's DJ, and it's Wells, and at the shooting guard position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Williams passes to DJ. On the three off target. And here are the Nuggets now. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. That game is the first and last of their home state. They Brent with the size and speed of NBA athletes. Could we see the court widened out at some point, whether it's the lane or, or even the boundaries? White. That's a great question, Kevin. I, I often thought that the league should widen the court to the point where the 23-9 three-point line should be an exact semicircle. Is the same, yes. Which would yes. extend the court another couple feet on each end oh, and create more space, more driving opportunities, more room to watch the greatest athletes in the world do what they do best. That's run, jump, pass, and entertain us. So maybe the league looks at it right now. I don't think there's any plans for it, but it's a great question. Free throws good, Lyle. Sam Decker's checked in for Williams. He's perfect from the line this time. The Clippers shooting here, about 46% for the game. Kicks it to Decker. He dishes it to Johnson. DJ passes to Wells. Offline with his three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Pass to Moody. Here's Lyles. call that time on the way up that'll give them two chances at the free throw line here and even though they're down they are putting on a show at the free throw line with the premium placed an outside shooting brent plus defensive rules that lessen the need to defend in isolation will we see guys playing for more years than ever before less wear and tear because there's less of it inside in games. So that's a great point, Kevin. I, I think that you're right about that. I also think that whatever we're doing off the court in terms of the players with nutrition and training regimen, that that's going to be another reason why we'll see players be very effective well into their late 30s and sometimes into their early 40s, which is about my limit, Kev. I'm still effective at 45. You are very effective at 45. <laughs> And he sinks the second. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Now, here's Decker. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Goes back up. A nice shot by Reed. Reed's got 11 points here in just the second half. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Beasley with a clean look. A three-pointer, no good. 
Clippers have gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. Over in the corner, Decker. He kicks to DJ. Pass to Decker. Johnson the screen. For the three. The shot, no good. And it's Denver the other way. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Winning Gomez kicks to Mudia. Off target from three-point range. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Wells' shot is good. Uh, he's been on his A game seeking good shots, and he's a huge reason why tonight they're winning. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. There's the pick. Moutier kicks to Lyles. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Lyles got six in the quarter. Precision pass from Moutier to get his teammate a good look there. The dish to Wells. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, and then the fear sets in that you're going to create driving lanes that could lead to easy buckets. This is not an easy fix. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. After the three-pointer from Shammy Wells. Here's Leiden. Reed covering. The tray. But they'll get another chance. Pass to Moutier. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Hernan Gomez. He feeds it to Moutier. Goes up again. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on DJ. That's a nice sign of Moutier starting to figure things out on the offensive end of the floor. Got to like seeing him fool the defenders with the pump fake. There are a fair amount of explosive point guards in the league, and Moutier is right up there with the best of them. Brent, the way he can just blow by a guy and rise up is incredible for a guard his size. Yeah, Moutier can cover take a lot a of space with Two just shots. one dribble. So take up the ground that's being offered up to you by your defender. It's just tough to remain consistent with that kind of shot attempt night after night over the top of defender and with contact. We'll see as he progresses how that goes. And they are making it look easy at the free throw line here in the second half. And the Clippers making a change here. Teodosa just checked in. Both free throws good from Moody. A hey, brand analytics more and more playing a part in the NBA, almost to the point where people now feel guilty taking mid-range jump shots because they know the higher percentage that exists. How far is too far in using these numbers? Well, I think people mention it too much, Kevin, but they don't understand it enough. There's no doubt that analytics plays a huge part in what our game is today. Every team throughout the 30 in the league have several guys employed to look deep into these numbers. But the fact of the matter is, still the best shot in basketball is the dunk or the layup. Teams are still trying to get into the paint and get it done. And the three-point evolution is not going anywhere. So it's about understanding it. Right now, we're at a good point. About 33% of shots taken right now are three-point shots. I think we're going to see it get close to 40. Wow. That's about the tipping point. 40%. And here's Beasley after the three-pointer from Shammy Wells. Here's Hernan Gomez. A three-pointer is right on target. Oh, a little punch, counter-punch action. Neither side flinching here. Yeah, both sides trying to keep up with one another, but doing it from distance. Barry's the long-range jumper. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Denver's gone a disappointing 2-6 of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Moutier passes to Lyles. Makes a big high pounce and goes in. Lyles got eight points in the quarter. Well-coordinated shot mechanics, especially for a guy with his length. Yeah, he's certainly able to shoot over the top of people. High percentage look right there from the mid-range. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? 
and stolen by DJ. Goes up, and DJ throws it down. Yeah, that's the kind of hustle they want out there from DJ, getting up the court quick on the fast break. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. Now, here's Moutier. The pass to Lyles. Over Reed. And that one hits back iron. A bad shot there. Trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. Yeah, just too anxious to try and make something happen out there. This is about the team, not about you. Here's Moutier. Shot from free throw range. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Reed's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Teodosic, no good. And I know we want to assume these shots are going in. The defense definitely blew an assignment there, but still got lucky. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Here's DJ. Denver getting their last shot to go. From 13, Reed misses. Beasley outside. Pass to Leighton. Here's Moutier. Off target with his three. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Just don't touch him right now, okay? You're going to burn yourself. The guy is on fire. But I could shoot in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. To the paint, wants to get it to Beasley and does. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. And terrific handle shown there by Moutier to find his teammates for the good shot. To the right side. The feed now to DJ. Here's Teo Dosic, heard by Beasley. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Teo Dosic, no good. The nugget shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. Beasley picks to Moutier. Back to Beasley. Hernan Gomez passes to Moutier. From outside, off the mark. You know, not sure if it's him or the defense, but just something's off tonight. There's something in this frame for sure, but when you're out of rhythm, sometimes it's better to play the role of being the facilitator. The Nuggets now in offense. Passes to Hernan Gomez. Here's Lyles. Pass to Leiden. Fires for three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. DJ's got five rebounds tonight. Out to the right wing. From outside the arc, hands it from downtown. DJ's got 48. He's hit the proverbial switch. Effortlessly finding different ways to score. Moutier kicks to Beasley. From deep, sinks the three-pointer. The defender must have felt like he ran into a brick wall right there. Really great screen set to give his teammate the wide-open shot. Feeds to Decker, dishes it to DJ. Hey, Brent, we've seen a number of super teams created via free agency or trade. Do you think that's good for the league? I think it's great for the league. I think it's awesome to see some of the great players play on the same court together and some of the chemistry that that creates. But what's been interesting over the course of the last couple seasons, Kevin, is that we've had these young marquee players stepping up in environments and with organizations now that are must-see TV. So aside from the super teams, there are young players carrying their team to hopefully greater and greater heights that keep you interested in all 30 teams in the league. And here's Beasley after the three-pointer from Shammy Wells. Kicks to Moutier. From 11 feet away, again the Nuggets score. Yeah, just so crucial that Moutier becomes a very consistent mid-range shooter for this team. Like to watch him focus on improving that shot. Now here's DJ. There's the pass to Teodosic. Here's the three. And it's DJ missing. Nugget shooting 40% in the fourth. Takes the 13-footer. Moutier, no good. The Clippers shooting it well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. He 
DJ passes to Teodosic to the middle. Decker dishes to DJ. Shoots the three. The rebound by Leiden. Boy, I'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket. Once he sees a few shots go in from there, that might open up everything from distance. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. And this is what happens when you fail to block out. Defensive rebounding just as important as causing the miss in the first place. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Alinari comes in for Teodosic. Denver also making some changes. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Leiden. And Murray subbed in for Emmanuel Moutier. One shot. Hey, Brent, what are some of the biggest differences between NBA play and international play? I think in international play, and we're moving more and more towards it, Kevin, is possessions oftentimes involve five to six passes and exploring quick cuts to the basket, big guys away from the hoop, and opening up space around the lane for cutters to get in there and slicing through with passes to get available scoring opportunities. A lot of these coaches have borrowed some sets, especially during international competition with the Olympics that they brought back to training camps for the NBA season. Passing, cutting, shooting. I mean, those are the most attractive things uh, to the naked eye to see and watch. You know what, Kevin? That sounds a lot like basketball to me. Yeah, me too. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Clippers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. In what's really been a fantastic year, these guys expect to win each night just as they've done here tonight. And this will end up another big win, making it 65 on the season. They were really smart in the use of that game plan tonight. Used it in their first two games against this team, which equaled to two wins. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for DJ. That unselfishness was on full display here tonight. Did a great job of getting his teammates going. And that is one thing he does very well. His intensity on the glass helps lead to these high percentage putbacks for his team. Hits it from three-point range. DJ's got 54 points. And you can tell they're ready to start celebrating a, a well-deserved victory here tonight. Yeah, you can see the fans. They've already started celebrating themselves. A gutty performance. And that one is good by Beasley. And that's from beyond, guys. Right back at you. Yeah, that's a nice response there, leaving a voicemail in return from the three-point line. Looks like we're seeing similar game plans right now. And that one's good, DJ. Running up the score, showing no mercy. Well, you want to close the door on any type of comeback effort. This has been a vault. Ka-ching! Right. Ja, mit dem Spiel bin ich am Ende dann doch zufrieden. Was soll ich auch anders sein? Also 57 Punkte, 7 Rebounds, 9 Assists. Gut, ein Turnover, den kann man verkraften und fünf Fouls. Die fünf Fouls sind nicht so schön. Am Ende musste ich deswegen ein bisschen aus den Devs rausgehen, aber es ging halt auch nicht anders. Ne? Was soll ich machen? Ich wollte halt verhindern, dass da Punkte fallen, also habe ich gefault. Ist halt so, ne? Dennoch bin ich wirklich, wirklich zufrieden. Das gibt richtig, richtig Points. 15.435 und ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass die im Studio auch noch mit mir sprechen wollen. Wäre komisch, wenn nicht. Guck mal auf die Punkteverteilung. 20,4 jetzt, also die 20 noch über Schritten. Sehr gut. Fantastic game. Listen, Ernie and the guys want to talk to you at the studio. Let's do it. You know the drill. Ja, das ist aber heute aber auch berechtigt. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Time now to catch up with our special post-game guest. Hey, what's up? It's the Jet. Nice work on getting another win, man. How have you guys been able to keep this win streak? Well, Kenny, you know, the big thing for us during this stretch is that every night it's a different guy stepping up. 
We have a great atmosphere on the team, and when one player is on a roll, we like to feed him the ball and just keep it going. It, it takes a full team effort, top to bottom, to keep a win streak like this alive. That's exactly true. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I will. And that's going to do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. For the Jet, for the Diesel, for Kevin Harlan, and for the entire 2K Sports crew. The entire 2K Sports crew. That's everyone. Ernie Johnson. Have a wonderful evening. So, und wir werden jetzt gleich nochmal schauen, ob es jetzt endlich mal für die Top 3 in den Rookie, der Rookie-List reicht. Man muss doch mal langsam reichen. Oh, und der SMS kriege ich auch noch, da gucken wir auch mal kurz rein. Brian! Äh, ja, ich komme vorbei. Bisher hat mir diese Spenden ja noch nichts gebracht, muss ich ja sagen. Ich habe ja einmal gespendet, ob es irgendwas bringt, aber nix. So, jetzt gucken wir mal vorher noch in die Liga-Statistiken rein. Das wird ja immer spannender hier. Bei den Awards, die Award-Kandidaten. Weil da wollte ich nicht hin. Immer noch Vierter. Das kann doch nicht sein. Es geht doch immer weiter hoch. Die Assists per Game jetzt über drei. Die Rebounds über äh, fast drei. Ja, also von daher, das muss doch mal langsam... Schauen wir, was es sonst noch gibt. Six Man of the Year bin ich bestimmt nicht. Hab ich immer alles dabei. Bei Defensive Player bin ich auch nicht dabei. Most Improved Player? Leider auch nicht. Most Valuable Player? Auch nicht. Also da bin ich nirgends mit drin. Wir gucken aber noch mal kurz... Oh, Saisonauszeichnung. Warte mal. Da müsste ich doch eigentlich jetzt am Ende relativ häufig äh, Spieler der Woche gewesen sein. Ja, hier. Seht ihr ja. Zweimal, aber es ist einmal Damian Lillard und einmal Russell Westbrook, aber sonst immer ich. Wenn wir uns da mal kurz in die Monatsliste gucken. Ja, da war ich sowohl im Februar als auch im März Spieler des Monats. Und ich denke, ich könnte es sogar auch im April noch werden. Aber schau mal. Und als letztes hier in den Statistiken gucken wir natürlich jetzt auch nochmal in die äh, Tabelle rein. Wie es denn jetzt in der Conference aussieht. Ob wir auf Platz 2 gerutscht sind. Wir sind auf Platz 2 gerutscht. Denn die Golden State Warriors... Haben geschwächt, beziehungsweise ein, ein Spiel weniger. Deswegen sind wir momentan alleine auf dem zweiten Platz. Die dürfen aber noch eins. Und die beste Serie von den Top 3 Teams haben wir momentan. Von daher, alles gut. Zwei Spiele sind es noch. Bis ran an die Playoffs. So, und ach so, wir wollten noch zu Brian marschieren. Das machen wir natürlich auch noch. In der Zeit kann ich euch schon sagen, das war's für heute. Wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, dann lasst einen Daumen hoch da. Ihr dürft auch sehr gerne kommentieren. Und wenn ihr uns noch nicht abonniert habt, dann abonniert es doch einfach. Vergesst aber nicht, die kleine Glocke neben dem Abonnieren-Button zu drücken. Denn nur dann bekommt ihr alles mit, was bei uns im Kanal so abgeht. Und schaut auch mal bei uns auf Facebook vorbei. Facebook.com slash DZFMGaming oder hier bei uns auf dem YouTube-Kanal im Kanal-Banner unten rechts, da wo unsere Partner stehen. Da gibt es einen direkten Link, braucht ihr nur draufklicken. Und auf unserer Facebook-Seite bieten wir euch News aus der Szene, Tipps und Tricks, Guides und auch immer wieder ein Gewinnspiel. Lohnt sich also auch auf jeden Fall. Und wenn euch NBA 2K18 gefällt, tja, dann habe ich einen Tipp für euch. Guckt mal in die Videobeschreibung, da gibt es einen Link, wo ihr das Spiel besonders günstig kaufen könnt und uns damit auch noch unterstützt. So, genug geschwafelt. Wir müssen noch zu Brian. Ach, übrigens, was ich noch erwähnen wollte, vielleicht habt ihr es in der Halbzeitpause gesehen. Äh, ich habe es jetzt geschafft, ich bin der beste Dreierschütze der Liga. Äh, da bin ich schon mal ganz vorne. So, mal gucken, was Brian da für mich hat. What's up, Brian? So you have something for me? I do indeed. Here you go. Nice, man. <sighs> Alter, this is aber richtig was. <laughs> Hashtag hilarious. Hashtag why do they hate cucumbers? Da gibt's mittlerweile richtig was. Aber das war's für heute. Im Abspann könnt ihr jetzt auf die linke Seite des Bildschirms klicken. Für Tipps aus dem Kanal auf die rechte Seite. Für die komplette NBA 2K18 Playlist in der Mitte. Da könnt ihr uns abonnieren. Ich sage tschüss und macht's gut. Bis morgen.